Hi everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. I'm Sally and this is my channel, Secret Life with Seamstress, where I love to talk all about sewing and making clothes. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 great sewing patterns that you might like to sew for spring and summer this year. So as I've mentioned before, I am absolutely over winter sewing now. I cannot wait for the warmer months to come and I am busy planning my summer sewing. So I've had great fun researching these patterns and I'm looking forward to sharing them with you today. So with all that said, let's get straight into the video. I'm gonna keep this quite quick fire because I do have 10 patterns to share, but I'll try and get as much information into what I'm sharing as I can. And as always, all the patterns will be linked below the video in case you want to pop over and get some more information on them. First pattern I have to share is the Closet Core Jenna. This is such a lovely pattern. It's an oversized menswear inspired shirt with all of the classic shirt tailoring details included, such as a back yoke, collar on a stand, sleeve plackets, and also a chest pocket too. I love this shirt as it is just for its classic style, but what I really liked about this pattern was the cropped version that you can make. This is so on trend at the moment, particularly when sewn from like a broderie anglaise or a cutwork fabric or something similar to this one from H&M. And I love the fact that you can make it as a shirt dress as well, because who doesn't love a shirt dress for spring and summertime? Next on my list is this one. This is actually a pattern bundle and it's the Albi shirt, pants and shorts sewing pattern set. I really love this pattern set. I think again, it's so on trend. There are loads of coordinating pants and shirt sets still around on the high street. So I think this one would be a great one to sew for spring and summertime. This is a great one for layering as well. I love how they've sewn it from a cream linen in the pattern images and it looks lovely with a silk cami underneath. If you didn't want to make this in a solid fabric, then I think it would look great as well in like a big floral print or maybe even like a palm print or a safari print or something like that. It would be really good to wear if you were going on holiday to a nice hot country this season. Because this is a pattern bundle, you get three patterns for one essentially. So you can mix and match the garments as you want. So you can wear the shorts and pants something different like a vest top or a t-shirt or a cami and likewise you could wear the shirt over a swimsuit or a pair of jeans. Next I really wanted to include this one is the Ruffle Brunch Set by the Matchy Matchy Sewing Club. Isn't that a great name for a pattern company? I thought this set was super cute and again very on trend. These kind of tie front tops are everywhere at the moment and it seems as though everyone is making one of these over on Instagram. This one has a really nice wide scoop neck, some puffy sleeves and a nice little ruffle to the hem of the top. You can make the bottoms as shorts or crop trousers and similar to the top, they feature a ruffle detail to the hem. I think it would be a super cute pyjamas or loungewear set for summertime. You could absolutely wear this out of the house if you wanted to. And again, I love the fact that you can mix and match the top and bottom. So you could wear the top with a pair of jeans and that would look really lovely. And likewise, you could wear the trousers with just a simple vest top or t-shirt and that would work really well too. I think this set would be a great one for customizing and really making your own with embellishment, embroidery or applique. And with that in mind, I just wanted to let you know of a course that I've taken recently all about upcycling clothing. Upcycling, altering and mending was something that I mentioned I wanted to be better at this year. And I shared all about that in my goals and intentions video back in January. So I took this course with that in mind. I found this course on Skillshare and Skillshare are kindly sponsoring this part of the video. So if you haven't heard of Skillshare, they are the largest online learning community for creatives and they have literally thousands of courses available to choose from ranging from sewing knitting crochet or macrame to managing your social media channels photography productivity and even self-care I've been a member of Skillshare for over two years now and I love the fact that I can dip in and out of it if ever there's something that I need to learn or a particular skill that I might want to develop this upcycling clothing course was a quick half an hour course that I watched in my lunch break I love the fact that she showed how easy it was to make a garment your own and much more wearable just by adding a little bit of applique. She also includes some great examples of how to find inspiration for your next applique project and also a quick Pinterest tutorial as well, which I thought was really useful. Something else that I really love about Skillshare is that they include something called learning paths and these are courses handpicked for you. So if you're not quite sure where to start, then these can be a great option. Learning paths are a collection of classes you take in order that build on one another reinforcing the lessons. 
These are available in loads of different categories, including learning to sew your own clothes, design, productivity, and creative freelancing. One of the skills I'd love to develop for myself this year is to be better at my YouTube marketing and editing. So I've been taking some courses all around YouTube thumbnail creation and also keyword searching and things like that as well. Alongside that in my work, I'd really love to learn how to be more productive with my time, particularly as I work from home and it can be quite distracting sometimes. So I've lined up this learning path called Mastering Productivity with Ali Abdul. Ali is one of my favourite YouTubers so I'm really looking forward to seeing what his Skillshare course has to offer. Skillshare are kindly offering the first 500 people to sign up using my link a one month free trial. I actually started my Skillshare membership using a one month free trial and I loved it so much that I had to stick around. I really hope you'll pop over and see everything that Skillshare have to offer after watching this. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this part of the video. Next on my list is the Friday Pattern Company Beachcomber Jacket. This is part of the new day trip collection that Friday Pattern Company have just released. I really love the style of this jacket and for me it's just a step up from their Ilford jacket pattern which I've loved. This jacket pattern is a little bit more involved than the Ilford. It does have a lining and it also has the option of a collar or a hood. There are loads of patch pockets to choose from as well, so you can really make the jacket your own. Instead of a straight hem, you can opt for an elasticated hem and also elasticated sleeve cuffs as well. And the jacket's finished with either buttons and buttonholes or snaps, which is a nice, easy alternative to making buttonholes. I think you could make this one in like a waxed or waterproof fabric if you wanted it as a great outerwear piece, but likewise, you could also make it from a fleece or a corduroy fabric. And that would be a nice cozy jacket to just throw over whatever you're wearing in the cooler evenings in the summer. My next pattern is not necessarily new, but it is new to me. It's the Danny Shorts and Pants pattern by True Bias. Danny is an elasticated shorts or pants pattern and it has inseam pockets and also pockets to the rear of the garment as well. The legs of the shorts are quite wide and flary, but the trousers are tapered and more fitted, which I quite liked. It seems as though you're getting two for the price of one with this pattern. What I also liked about it is that it has quite a short paper bag waist and you can make the garment as easy or as difficult as you want to because you can either make them just with a simple elasticated waist or if you want to, you can include a zip fly fastening, which makes them look a little bit more tailored. For me, I'd love to sew up a pair of these in like a tensile twill or a chambray, something quite drapey and wear them with a cropped Jessie t-shirt, which I'm planning to sew for myself this summer. The Jessie t-shirt is another pattern from True Bias and it's actually a free t-shirt pattern that you can download if you are part of their mailing list. So it's well worth getting it and downloading it and keeping it in your stash whenever you might need it. My next pattern is the Violet Top by Maison Fave and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I really love the look of this pattern. From the front, it looks like a super simple shift top, but the back has loads of pretty detailing to it. So from the front, you can see that it just has a simple round neck, which I'm assuming is finished with a facing. There are also bust darts, but at the back, you've got this really pretty button up yoke and then a big box pleat. I love the fact that you can customize this blouse by adding trimming or piping to the yoke. It just makes it that bit more pretty and a bit more special. Again, I think this would look great sewn up in a broderie anglaise or a lace or a cartwork fabric. That would be right on trend. But you could also make this from a really pretty like ditzy floral viscose or a silk or satin. And it would be a lovely special summer top to wear in the spring and summertime with jeans or trousers or shorts if you prefer. My next pattern is this 1970s McCall's reproduction. I absolutely love looking at vintage patterns, but I've yet to be brave enough to sew one up. I came across this pattern doing my research for this video though, and I couldn't not include it because I absolutely love it. I particularly love the maxi dress that they've included on the pattern image at the front of the envelope. I think it looks amazing in that big, big print. But I think more practically for this summertime, I would love to sew up the cropped blouse version of this pattern. The top is gathered into some front bands, which actually fold back to form that collar. There are some cute puffy sleeves and the top is really cropped and A-line and floaty. For me, I think I would find a nice large scale print that I could use to sew this up with. And I think that would be the nod to the 70s that this pattern deserves. And I think I'd then wear it with some nice wide leg jeans or trousers or even shorts maybe. And I think that would make a lovely spring and summer outfit. Another pattern I thought I would include is the French Navy Now Lucien top. 
I wanted to include this one because it's a little bit different to your standard t-shirt pattern. Grandad style t-shirts, again, are everywhere on the high street at the moment. They've really come back in style. So I thought this would be a great one to include. And again, the pattern has a few different options so that you can mix and match and make different style tops just with the one pattern. So you can make a short boxy style t-shirt with certain sleeves, or you can make it a little bit longer, or you can make this more sort of oversized style long sleeve top with sleeve cuffs. There are loads of different ways that you can make this t-shirt your own just by changing the binding. You can actually make the binding from a woven or a knit fabric. So you can make a really pretty plain white jersey t-shirt that little bit extra special by using say a floral binding instead. I love how they style the t-shirt in the pattern image with the stripy jersey and the white binding. I think that really sets it off. So again, I think this would be a super useful pattern to have in your spring and summer collection. You could wear it with jeans or shorts or skirts and trousers, anything you wanted to really. It would be a really good wardrobe staple. The next pattern on my list is the Tilly and the Buttons Thea trousers. And I almost didn't include this one because I feel as though you must have all seen this pattern already. But again, they're just so on trend and they'd be super useful to have in your wardrobe this spring and summertime and they would go really well with some of the other patterns I've talked about in this video. So the Thea trousers are a nice casual style pair of trousers. They're wide leg and you can make them cropped or full length. They have a zip fly, a waistband and you can make them either with patch or welt pockets. For me, I think I would make a pair of these in a nice classic blue denim, probably light for summertime. I think they would look really nice sewn up in a white or a cream denim too. If you wanted to be a bit more high street, instead of turning up the cuffs on your trousers, you could actually just leave them raw. There are loads of raw hem trousers and jeans around on the high street at the moment. So you'd be super on trend and also it's a little bit easier, isn't it, than turning up the hem of your trousers. It's one stage less of the sewing to do. <laughs> I really, really like the shape of these trousers and I'm definitely planning to sew something similar to this this summertime. Last but not least, I really wanted to include a dress sewing pattern and I've chosen to include the Ava dress by Atelier Dupe. I absolutely love the style of this dress. It is a classic sort of shirt dress, but it does have a few different details to it. The dress has a fully buttoned down button placket. It also has a collar on a stand. It is sleeveless, but it does feature some sleeve trims. So your shoulders are covered. I really like the boxy style of this dress and it has that nod to utility, which is so popular on the high street at the moment. You can sew this from a solid fabric in like a khaki or a cream and that would work really, really well. But likewise, you could sew it from a lovely floral fabric or a large scale print such as a palm print or a safari style print again, and that would be perfect for a lovely summer holiday. I'm really hoping to sew this dress up this summertime. It's definitely on my list. So that brings me to the end of my 10 new sewing patterns that you might like to sew for spring and summertime. I really hope that there's been some inspiration in there for you for your own spring and summer my sewing. Let me know in the comments which pattern is your favourite and let me know if you have any great patterns that you would like to add to this list. I'd also love to know if there's anything that you're planning to make for spring and summer this year. I'm always on the lookout for new patterns and new sewing inspiration. Don't forget to pop over and check out Skillshare and claim your one month free trial. I'll leave the link down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have enjoyed this video I'd love it if you gave it a like as well. Take care everyone and I'll look forward to seeing you in another video soon. Bye.